All right, I was asked to make a uh, med pass sheet. This is a copy of my, this is one I made up imaginary, but this is how I would do a nursing home uh, med sheet med pass. So I would study my mar, and I would learn that Mickey Mouse here at the Cartoon Living Center, he gets his meds at, well, at first he's up. He can walk. He gets his meds at 8 a.m. and also at noon. Not a whole lot going on with Mickey. Um, Donald, on the other hand, he's up and he gets his at 9 a.m. Now this little up symbol, the, that's just my symbol for up ad lib. Um, if you have another symbol you would like to use, be free to use it. Um, that's just this. That's what always worked for me. Uh, these are not medically correct uh, terms, of course. Uh, Goofy here, he's up. He's also a diabetic. Um, he gets ACHS blood sugar checks. Um, I'd be be sure that's important because depending on your policy, you're gonna have to check his blood sugar at you know maybe 6 a.m. maybe. 7 a.m., whatever time uh, Trace hit the floor. He also gets 8 a.m. meds. And he gets noon meds. And I know all this from looking at the MAR. Um, Pluto, Pluto, he's up with assistance. The A is assistance, and he can get up uh, once he's up with an assisted device. His medicines are due at 7.30 a.m. And he is a feeder. So we know that he's probably not going to leave his room uh, during um, meal time. Daisy, poor Daisy, she broke her hip. So she's a turn. That is just my symbol for turn because she has a broken hip. After that, she gets 8 a.m. meds. She gets noon meds. She's on a vent. And she needs breathing treatments. And that's all that B means. Um, after that, I have Minnie Mouse. She's in a wheelchair. So she gets a W. And she has 9 a.m. meds. You know, pretty standard. Batman. He is, uh, he's up ad lib. He is a diabetic. And he gets 8 a.m. meds. Joker. Joker is Batman's roommate. Take note of that. Joker, he's a bad lib. Uh, and he's got 8 a.m. meds. And that's about it. The Riddler, he's down here. Um, he's a bad lib. He gets 7 a.m.s. And 9 a.m.s. And again at noon. Take note of the Riddler there. Robin. Um, he's up with assistance. He has an assistive device, a walker, or, you know, whatever. He is diabetic, but he's not ACHS. He's 7 a.m. And 7 p.m. And he gets 8 a.m. meds. Okay. Uh, after that, we have Superman. Uh, he gets up with assistance. He has a walker. Um, and he just gets 9 a.m.s. Um, Spider-Man. Let's see old Spider-Man. He's up. He's in a wheelchair. Uh, he gets 8 a.m. meds, and he's a feeder. He must have taken a fall, uh, must have run out of web fluid or something, falling down. Up next, we have Iron Man. He's in a walker, or a wheelchair, I'm sorry. Uh, he's ACHS, and he gets 8 a.m. meds. War Machine, Captain America gave him a hard time, so he's in a walker now. Uh, he just so happens to be a diabetic, ACHS. Um, he gets 8 a.m.s. And he's a tube feed. Let's see if I can write tube on here. 
Okay, so I have looked at my mark, and that's where all of these numbers came from. Now, of course, these are all made up. I do not care about disease processes. All I'm really worried about is do they get up? What time are their meds? And are they a blood sugar? I do have um, Miss Daisy here. She's on a vent and she has a breathing treatment. Um, and War Machine here, he's a tube feed. Uh, do I have any more tube feeds? No. All I have is information pertinent to my medication delivery um, and why, if they're up, is important because this will tell me. Um, if they're up, they're probably somewhere. Uh, they're probably, you know, in a friend's room. Um, you know that Pluto here, he's not going anywhere. He's a feeder and he's up with an assisted device. Uh, so he's probably not going anywhere. You know that Miss Daisy's not going anywhere. Um, you know that War Machine's probably not going anywhere. He's a tube feed. So you know where to find these people at these specific times. Also notice these times, 8 a.m., 9 a.m., 8 a.m., 7.30 a.m., 8, noon, um, 9 a.m., 8 a.m. Look at the Riddler here. He's 7 a.m., 9 a.m., and noon. Very important to be sure to check on Mr. Riddler here. So, policy is at the Cartoon Living Center that we give meds at an hour before up to an hour later. So, who are we going to see first? Well, first, policy is that when Trace hit the floor, they should already have their blood sugars checked. Luckily, we have, what, one, two, three ACHSs, four ACHSs here. Um, now, uh, Robin here, he is a diabetic, but he's 7A, 7P, shift starts at 6 a.m. We get a quick report, say by 6.30, we're on the floor. First thing we're going to do, we're going to check old Goofy here, his blood sugar's good. We're going to check Batman here, his blood sugar's good. I'm going to check Iron Man and War Machine. All of these have now been medicated. The first person I'm going to go to after that right here is Riddler. Even though he's in room 5, he's in 5A, I'm going to check the Riddler because he's got 7 a.m.s. Uh, you don't know why he has 7 a.m.s. He may have 7 a.m.s because he uh, uh, has a certain disease process, some um, cancers or um, something like that. So for whatever reason, he's 7 a.m., 9 a.m., these two cannot be mixed for whatever reason. So he's got to get sevens, and he's got to get nines two hours later, and then he's got to get noons. So we go here. Let's say it's, uh, we've checked our blood sugars. It's now 701. We've got his medicines in him. So medicated him. Next, we're going to move up here to Pluto. He's 730. He's a feeder. Remember, the tray's got to hit the floor. 730, we get Pluto. After Pluto, we're going to start back up here to Minnie, Mickey. He's eight. Going to skip Donald, going to get Goofy. We've already got Pluto. Now we've got to get Miss Daisy. She's eight. We're going to skip Minnie. We're going to get a Batman, Joker, skip the Riddler, and Robin. When we're here, we should probably check his blood sugar. Um, by this time, it's probably mm, 740 or so. Because this is ordered like this, we don't really have to check it before he eats. So as long as it's done within that hour before or hour after. So by now, it's probably, we're looking at about 7.45 or so. Checking Robin's blood sugar and giving him his meds at the same time. Skip Superman, get Spider-Man. We're going to get Iron Man and War Machine. Then we're going to move back. And we're going to go Superman, because by now it's probably 8 o'clock. We're going to get Superman. We're going to skip the Riddler, even though he's 9. we got to make sure we get that 9 a.m. on him. Uh, we're going to get Minnie. And we're going to go up here to Donald. By now, we should be good to get the Riddler. And that's when we're going to get the Riddler. And, of course, at this point in time, we're going to chart uh, on all of our people. Because by now, we've had to put eyes on all of these people. Now, what I call this is a master copy. This I would leave in my locker. And I would make a new copy of it every day. So every day, I would make a new copy. And remember, Mickey's noon here. Well, Mickey has vancomycin. And it's due at noon and midnight. Well, let's say we get in report that it was given at uh, 1 a.m. instead of noon. So now we need to check this out. And his now Vanco at noon is now at 1 p.m. And this is important because you have to get a peak and trough on him. So now that I have this master copy and I just copied it and read 
retransmitted it to here, I can put his vancomycin at one. Um, let's say we have another change. Let's say that, uh, let's say one day Batman and Joker, they get into it. Joker's in the hospital. So if he's on my master sheet and he's at the hospital, then I can just check him out because I know that he's at the hospital. Let's write hospital. Now, because Batman put his hands on Joker, we know the Joker's not coming back. So we talk to our, we talk to our admin, we talk to the office people. Um, who's going to change out? Well, Joker's going to change out for Robin, and they're going to switch rooms. But until then, Robin stays in here. So until Joker comes back, Robin stays in 5B. The schedule never changes unless, like I had the vancomycin change to 1 p.m. due to the vancomycin be done at 1 a.m. the day before. Um, let's say we have another change. Let's say we have uh, the um, Robin goes from diabetic 7A to 7P. He now changes to ACHS. The blood sugar has been running low or high or whatever it is. All I have to do is mark it out on my master copy and all of a sudden there it is. Now my master copy never changes but let's say we have a change like Batman beat up Joker and now he's gone. So now I have to make a new master copy. You can see in this one I have the Riddler is now with the Joker. And the Joker is now a two hour turn because Batman broke his hip. He's also now two feet and he's on a breathing treatment. So this is my change here. Robin goes back to 7A7P, his blood sugar goes back under control, uh, you know, for whatever reason. Mickey's back on his vancomycin at noon, or maybe his vancomycin run up. Maybe he says uh, oral pills now. I don't know. Um, but as it changes, now this now becomes my new master copy because Joker is, oops, excuse me. Joker is no longer living with Batman. Robin is living with Batman. So this new master copy focuses on that. And this is now the copy that I make a copy and I leave in my locker. Um... Cartoon Living Center for the uh, remainder of the time until something else changes. Um, you know, War Machine could pass and then we'll just have to cross him out and fill him in with whoever replaces him. Um, you know, uh, if it changes drastically, I would make a new one. If you just have a simple, you know, uh, like Robin change from 7P to 7A blood sugars, I would just simply just cross him out and go, ACHS on that um, and date it. Today's the seventh. Um, and date it. That way you know. Now remember, this is your copy. This is not something that has to be medically correct. You don't have to have medical terminology. I know that's not a bad lib. I know that's not Q2 term. I know that's not in a wheelchair. But I, to me, this is how I remember it. Um, so find out your symbols or whatever you know. I know what all these mean because I use them. Um, if you don't use them, do the proper medical terminology. Whatever it is you need to do. Uh, this is simply just a template that I made up on cartoon characters. Of course, I didn't use real patients due to HIPAA, um, but I hope it helps. If you have any questions, uh, ask me, and I will be sure to get back to you about that. Uh, like I said, I hope it helps. Thank you much.